Uh, hello, my name is Xuan, and my partner is Qing Jun and Yong. Yeah, I'm Yong. Uh, uh, we built a simple uh, LED sketchpad with control of resistive touch screen. Uh, the sketchpad reflects exactly the user draw on the touch screen. Okay, so uh, you just booted the system and it's flashing a message uh, which is ECE4760. So, so, and if we zoom back, we have the display here, and then there's a touchpad here, and the touchpad is is matched so that this area is exactly the same as these four LED displays, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now uh, erase the screen over there. Okay, and I'll put it in draw mode. And so now, so now, so the green LED is the green LED is on. So we're ready to to draw. Let me see if I can get this all in the video. So if I if I draw a circle here, it appears over on the LED. If I draw on the top, it draws on the top over there, and on the bottom, it draws on the bottom. So the calibration is quite nice. All right, so now put it in erase mode, and now I can go back and erase the line I just did. But I can't probably can't get the circle exactly, so I'll just scratch it out. Very cool. Put it back in draw mode. I'm going to draw directly across the center and then vertically, and it works very nicely. That's cool. So there's a lot of wires here. Yeah. So you had to do a. You're driving this off of a, what? How many? You're multiplexing the display. And how many multiplexer? How many port pins are you using on the microcontroller? Port pins that is four plus four. Together we use eleven pins. Eleven pins. Yeah. And and you're multiplexing uh, through sixteen by sixteen, so that's two hundred and fifty six LEDs, right? Yeah. Uh huh. But it's pl plenty bright. It looks good. I mean, yeah, it look, yeah. it's nice yeah. and bright, and it's not. And I don't see any flicker artifacts on there at all. So that's. That's that's very good. In the in the video, I can just see a little bit of aliasing. I can see just a little bit of flicker there. So, what do you think the refresh rate on the on the LEDs is? How fast are you? Re it is one one millisecond. It's one kilograms per row, so it's uh, it's one about sixty. One it's so, so one millisecond per row, so it's about sixty hertz. Yeah. yeah. Which is why I was seeing an interference pattern on here because this is running at 60 hertz, so I could see it. You know, so there was a beat frequency between them. So that's that's very cool. Okay. And uh, um, I think yeah, I think I heard that there was a significant challenge in in decoding these displays, right, and figuring out the yeah. wiring diagram yeah. for the displays because the data sheets were not very good. There's so many wiring because you know the each LED matrix it got uh, 16 pins and so for a matrix it got 64 pins and we use um, our mega uh, 1284 and got this uh, limited pins to drive a big matrix with 64 pins so we need to figure out how to use other chips to like decoder and shift registers to uh, minimize uh, numbers of the pings and to drive the LED, uh, LED matrix. Mm -hmm. And also, at first we saw the LED matrix that got 16 pings, 8 on the top, 8 on the bottom. I th we saw the 8 on the top maybe control the rows and 8 on the uh, bottom controls the row columns. Well, it's not exactly like this, so we <laughs> just do a little bit of uh, experiment to one by one to figure out which pins controls which rows or column. Yeah. So that's a very big 
experiment that you have to do <laughs> yeah. unless unless you make some assumptions, right? Yeah. But 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 that's so we burn actually burns. So we're burn, yeah, we're burns. Did you so searching through it with a voltmeter or with a power supply? We just did uh, we did the power so. So we burn some heavy things. It's a good idea to put a resistor in series with it there. Or did you do that? Yeah. And yeah. you did and you still but, burned but, it. But you sometimes you... you the wrong direction, you know. Uh, LEDs, it is a pin junction in the other direction. So yeah. we put the VDD in the uh, wrong direction, so it burns out. And that burned it out? That's surprising. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. so it only can take a little bit of voltage then. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you.